हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोडिंग विद जनीश यूट्यूब चैनल सो फ्रॉम दिस वीक वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ पॉडकास्ट विद द पीपल हु आर देयर इन कॉर्पोरेट सो टुडे वी हैव विथ अस प्रेमल प्रेमल दोषी हु इज अ डिसीजन एनालिटिक्स एसोसिएट एट जेड एस एंड लेट अस हियर फ्रॉम प्रेमल ओनली हिज इंट्रोडक्शन एंड सम वॉट अबाउट इज जर्नी टू फ्रॉम निर्मा यूनिवर्सिटी ग्रैड टू असोसिएट एट जेड एस सो या प्रेमल how are you first of all janish thank you for having me in secondly i am really doing good so how are you doing yep i am also doing fine mm-hmm. nice so first of all let me just introduce myself as you said i am working as a decision analytics associate at zs it has been close to one year in zs I joined as an intern and did a five and a five and a half month internship with ZS, got converted as a full time employee in August. So it has been close to seven months as a, seven months as a full time employee and did a five month internship. So close to one year in ZS. Oh, that's great. As far as hmm. Nirma University is concerned, I did mechanical engineering, uh, and I'm a twenty twenty two pass out. Oh, that's great. So, was this an? I believe it was an in- on-campus opportunity, right? And uh, you grabbed correct, it from correct. the campus only. Okay. Yes. Could you please, yes. Came uh, to. Could you please let the audience know about the test structure and uh, uh, the company uh, had arrived when in your on your campus and some some something more about the hiring process? Mm-hmm. I think CS came to Nirma in August twenty one. and the rounds were very pretty clear so like in the first round there were three exams in the second round there was a case interview and in the third round it was a discussion with the team leader of zs and it was mostly based some puzzles and like that uh, yeah sure. that that is good uh, could you please elaborate on some of the interviews means Uh, were there three interviews or two interviews, and uh, uh, was there a separate HR interview round uh, and something like that? Yeah, let me just take you through the whole process. Mm-hmm. So, first there was a this aptitude test in that there were some easy verbal questions with some con questions. Uh, I had I was preparing for CAT examination, so for me it was pretty straightforward. In the second interview, it was a case study. questions but the only easiest part was that uh, it was a mcq based case study round so there was a case study given and in that uh, there were approaches given that what would you choose in these situations so it was pretty straightforward there as well mm-hmm. uh, in the third it w- in the third round it was mostly uh, there were two questions given and in, and we have to speak for around 30 seconds to 1 minute for each question and after that the first round got completed and the results were announced based on the first round results and i was shortlisted so in the second round there was case interview again but in this case interview uh, there were no options given so we had to you know go with our rational answers mm-hmm. so the rational being that we have to be very selected that why we went with this approach and why not with that approach Mm-hmm. so there there after the whole it was a one hour case study and after that one hour with the uh, consultant of zs only he only took the case study interview that why did you choose this option and or why did you went with this approach see you can make mistakes in this yeah but the only thing was that are you clear with the approach or why did you choose that approach so basically so, that you, yeah. well. so basically you mean there were uh, they, there is a no uh, perfect answer for the case study correct, but just correct. you need to explain the approach there always never yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. in today also like when we are in office there are always 10 approaches but it's basically why did you went with that approach yeah. so it is basically optimization between two approaches got it got so it so that i got again shortlisted and there were i think four or five people for the da only left and in that only two got selected from nirma so 
the last round was probably you know it got scheduled for me at night and some on shore folks took mm-hmm. the interview in that i was again asked a pretty basic few three questions like uh, it was more on like have you even worked on some excel or like it was half hr or half you can say a con based interview only like there were few puzzles asked to me in that interview as well so basically But, a kind of techno man- managerial round right uh, which we correct correct yeah. correct then mm-hmm. are you the right guy or do you have the culture or the values in embedded in you correct so it was purely based like that mm-hmm. okay yeah i think we have pretty much clear about the pro- uh, hiring process and the all the rounds which you went so basically each and every round was an elimination round right if you pass it you move forward or else you get eliminated that correct, correct, correct. and as you mentioned that yes. you were among the top 2 or 3 mean, i mean that means that cs is hiring only from the cream uh, of the university correct, correct. right yeah so the hiring process See, is also it is yeah competitive not based on your gpa as well my cgpa was not that great mm-hmm. but you see there should be a combination of good aptitude skills as well as some little good communication skills will help you clear cs interview but hmm. uh, if you are good and content if your communication skills are little weak then you have to really work on that part hmm. as well so yeah as, as i i think that gpa doesn't matter until unless you have good communication skills and some kind Correct. of technical technical and managerial background right yep 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 okay that is great now let's move forward and uh, yeah the most favorite question of all of the people uh the ctc because <laughs> the audience is generally interested at this point in time so is it possible for you to reveal the ctc or uh, is it some uh, i mean you have signed an nda or it is not possible yeah we have signed an nda so okay. we cannot reveal the oh, ctc yeah, but yeah. it gets changed every year so <laughs> you know if the college if you are if you are on campus that the ctc you will be knowing that this is the okay. current ctc for the freshers and it is same across most of the colleges mm-hmm. so it, it's it changes on roles if you are applying for dsa like that is data science associate then your ctc might differ by let's say 5% but not more than that correct correct it's uh, same for all the if you are applying for btsa boa or n and probably from some of my research i have found that gs is among the uh, top management consulting firms uh, when compared with other firms like deloitte and all of that right and and the advantage i think i believe could you please uh, let me know some about some of you have worked uh, for uh, till one year right uh, you would be completing yes. a year in gs now right as a full time associate very soon so how is mm-hmm. the work culture and uh, uh, if you get if you can reveal about the same to the audience yes see working in zs is really good that you can learn a lot of things see when i joined as a fresher i was not knowing much mm. about consulting or let's say any i didn't have that cons- that technical skills but as a fresher and the most like i was lucky that i got an internship offer so in that 6 months i learned a lot of things and zs mostly focuses on pharma that is the healthcare sector so we have a lot of clients from us canada or maybe from some belgium but the most of the business is, comes from us only so and we are mainly like i should not give you that exact number but it the the close range is around 75 to 80% uh comes the the business comes from pharma only mm-hmm. so if you are eager to learn about this sector then gs is the perfect match for you because other consulting companies are mostly in other like boutique firms or there are some firms which uh, ey does accounting things so if you like healthcare or you want to learn about it gs is the perfect choice for you now let's again come to the main part that if mm-hmm. see i didn't have any skills when i joined gs yeah gs will make sure that they will, they will teach you everything whatever they know like the consultants are good the senior associates are good they will teach you unless and until you ask them if you ask the right question they will definitely make sure that you know this thing and mm-hmm. what's the rationale behind doing this why we have taken this approach okay. or it can be something like uh, why we are not going with this approach so you must be very clear with that mm-hmm. secondly the tools that i have learned is see first i started with excel excel you have 
i became really good after four five months i also faced difficulty now everyone will think that excel like i know this count and something simple function but it's not just to that it's basically like how you can easily you know quickly do with all the uh, some make summaries with clean workbooks and also it it should be thoroughly qc qc is quality control that is the only you know let's say it's the best thing that gs does qcing the thing that makes like i'm not taking 99% i'm telling you 100% sure that uh, whenever we do some analysis it has to be 100% right 99% will not cut it so yeah that is why gs is definitely i this uh, brand I, value yeah there. i agree with you on that point because if uh, if one of the values turn out turns out to be zero then the entire average is going to be affected right so you need to be very correct, careful correct. and uh, meticulous while you d- enter data or process data using excel or you write some queries using sql and all that right now mm-hmm. the, i would uh, uh, means i need to ask one more question see uh, we have different roles data anal- data analysis data data science associate as you mentioned right so how is it mm-hmm. how is that role different from the current your current role decision analytics associate so th- 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 is th- is, th- is, th- is it the case that that role de- uh, demand different skills and uh, yes. f- and for core people right for mechanical civil chemical people uh, w- what do they need to learn if you want if they want to excel in gs so let's break it one by one yeah, yeah. first you mentioned that is dsa different from da mm-hmm. yes it is different from da is different from dsa as in da comes under business consulting business consulting is that you directly work with clients that there are meetings onshore meetings or whatever there are some meetings that even gs sends people uh, from india to the clients place that is maybe one of my friend went to dubai one went to us only uh, in the princeton office they work very closely with the clients when it comes to dsa people they really work in you know bringing newer to- technologies that gs leverages and you know makes the data more clean and helps the clients so their main work is in the you know back end side you won't find many dsa people you know working directly with clients okay but da once you will surely know that these guys are you know with the onshore folks only mostly so, they take up the call the yeah. clients and all that. so if i compare in terms of software engineering it is like a front end versus back end wherein where correct, correct, the correct. data science you associates you can say it. you yeah. can always say that yeah, yeah data science associates are uh, more aligned towards new technological but, advancements yeah and... their salary is pretty high and they mm. you know the the thing is that dsa people you know work on newer technology so they, they always have new problems with them so it's really cool working in dsa as well it's not like see if you are good with communication and you want to work with directly with clients take up the meetings and all that then yeah da yeah, is a so good choice it, for it, you. but it, yeah it is a more sort of a personal choice right if you want more technological work or more consulting work so def- on the basis Correct. of that you choose uh, what role you need to been right and so j- just one more question before you proceed uh, so uh, did gs hire uh, data science associates also from your university or was it the da associates only because uh, yeah. as far as i know da bts and boa hiring was done and after that i think gs came again in nirma for some big data engineers or something like that i'm not currently much sure about it but yeah gs came but now i don't know if gs hires again mm-hmm. uh for these roles because it demands a lot of skills uh, you should have a you know good uh, stack before joining as a dsa mm-hmm. and it also requires some experience as well okay as a fresher i, I haven't seen a lot of folks joining as a dsa mm-hmm. people do you know first join as btsa that is business Te- technology solutions associate and then they after one or one and a half year they change to ds if they want to work more techni- like they want to mo- work more on technology or like that sure okay got it so before i take much of your time a final piece of advice to your juniors or to anyone who is watching this podcast on uh, city <laughs> sitting with us on sunday night and yeah so final piece of advice from your side from my end if a final piece of advice is there then 
i will tell zs is a good company like if you want to uh join zs just work on your aptitude and let's say communication everything will you know work mm-hmm. but if you want to you know join as but yeah one thing i would like to point out that uh, as people must have read everywhere the work life balance is little okayish in zs so that is one thing that you may have to work long hours at zs so uh, if you are ready to put in 12 hours or 10 hours then zs is the right place people will encourage you and people will really motivate you and you will be you will get promotions as well because if you are working really hard then zs does everything whatever you have in your hand like mm-hmm. uh, i remember that zs provides late night cabs as well mm-hmm. if you are working late in the office or some meals are also reimbursed so there are very good benefits if you are really ready to put that piece of effort okay yeah so that was it guys from so we, uh, we thank premal for joining uh, uh, joining late at night and yeah thank you premal so much and best of luck for your journey and yeah so guys i would thank attach you. the uh, linkedin uh, profile of premal so in case there are any openings at zs uh, you can definitely reach out to him for referral and any kind of other help if you require l- let's say you want some interview guidance or some uh, technical guidance or whatever sort of thing premal will definitely help you out so premal is the right person to help you out yeah so thank you premal Thank you guys for watching this podcast and do not forget to subscribe to the channel before we leave and also please please hit the like button yeah thank you friends bye premal thank you bye bye